Live from Fox 35 News, you're watching Good Day Orlando. Today, people all over the country are honoring the life and legacy of historic civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. There are several events that are planned in Central Florida today, as well as a few that were held over the weekend to remember the impact that he had on the world. And joining us this morning to talk more about that is Dr. Eric Small, a professor of philosophy at Rollins College. Great to see you. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Well, we're glad you're here. Every year there is a call for service on Martin Luther King Day. Why is that? What is it about his legacy that brings us to a call for service on this day? Yeah, this is a great question. Um, so in part, Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy was the civil rights movement. And of course, this is the part of the legacy that we all know and remember. But then he was the pastor of a church. And of course, churches perform services throughout our community, including volunteer work at homeless shelters, feeding homeless people, including educating those people, especially during the civil rights movement who didn't have access to education and so on. So part of remembering Dr. King's legacy is continuing the services that he and his organization performed during the civil rights movement, in addition to having um, the protest movements that were going on for liberation. What can neighbors do to help each other as we remember Dr. King? Because sometimes people say, well, gosh, I'm, I'm elderly or I, I you know, don't get around well, so I can't go out maybe and clean up a park, but maybe I could do something nice for a neighbor. Yeah, there are many things that each of us can do, all the way from the very young to the very old. I would say if you're very young and you want to participate in um, a reenactment of a protest movement, there are walks throughout Orlando and walks often throughout the country. Then there are service events that people can go to. Go to. So if you're elderly, but you can't get out and move around much, but you want to go to an event, you can have someone pick you up and go to a service event. I know First Baptist Church is having a um, service in remembrance of Dr. King's movement this evening. And then Rollins College, of course, is having some events this evening too. So if you wanna get out and participate in things, there are things to get out and participate in. Or if you can't move around much, you could always go to one of those remembrances services. It's hard to believe that Dr. King would have been 94 years old this past weekend. His legacy is still strong. Do you feel like there is enough being done today to remember what he did to, to make uh, America a better place? Yes, I think there's a lot of remembrance for Dr. King. So we have, of course, the Dr. King statue. We have the African American History Museum in Washington, D.C., where Dr. King is featured. Every year we have these remembrances of Dr. King. So I think there's a lot being done to remember Dr. King. I think what we need to do more of is follow Dr. King's example. That is, love our brothers, those who love us back, and then also love our enemies, while at the same time attempting to get them to change the bad behavior that affects us in negative ways. So today, one of the things that have happened to the country is that we see people who we dislike or who are opposite sides of us as enemies, as opposed to brothers who may be misguided or misled. So I'd like to see us follow Dr. King's example more of loving our enemies and our brothers alike. Amen. That was one of his uh, most famous quotes uh, is to love, love our brothers. Dr. Eric Small from Rollins College, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Take care.